you know, the Lakers, you know, the teams out west, we're always going to get, the, you know, the guy, whoever's best shot every night, no matter who we play. You know what I mean? So you can't take any matchup for granted. You just have to come out prepared and, you know, do your, thoroughly do your scouting report and know the personnel when you're out there on the floor. I know that's something that you guys talk about against yourself, bringing that same energy. Right. You know, do you guys have it against kind of the top teams in right. the west and right. making sure you have it every night? Right, right, Is right. that something that you guys have to continue to kind of talk about? I think that's pivotal to any success, you know what I mean? Bring that same en energy on a nightly basis, no matter if you're making shots or missing shots. Just, you know, having the same preparation and the same focus on the defensive end because the defense won the game, really, you know, so you have to get stopped. And that's what we really, you know, have to wear our hat on is just you know, locking down on defense and bringing the energy on that side of the ball. Was the Cleveland game an example of that? It was, it was. I felt like we played the game the right way on both sides of the ball. And, you know, that was the reason for our success in that game. So, you know, just have to, you know, have that same carryover tonight's game. Also, a big contributor, of course, is Kawhi. Obviously, right. nothing he does really surprises you. Right, right. The efficiency he's had in his scoring the last couple of games, what kind of, you know, uh, I feel like Doc put him in great, uh, great position to, for that efficiency. You know what I mean? Getting them open looks, and the team is doing the teammates are doing a great job of finding them. And you know, Lou as well. You know, um, he's been efficient as well. So we're just doing a great job finding you know our key guys. Oh man, I think it's nice. I watched the game last night, and you know he looked good last night. And that's just a testament to his work ethic, work ethic, and his confidence in himself. And, you know, and then whoever's around him is, you know, keeping him, keeping him afloat through the tough times that he had in Philly. Yeah. Seems like a lot of people are really rooting for him. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. I, like I said before, like you root for anyone who, you know, is trying to overcome anything. You know? So I'm, I'm happy to see him have success. Yeah, how do you guys have to prepare yourselves for going on this long road trip? Uh, first and foremost, we got to take care of tonight, so we can't really look too far ahead of this road trip. So we just got to take it one game at a time. And our focus tonight is on Orlando, so we just try to you know, take care of business. Landry said that you guys have had some kind of conversations about getting your mindset right. Yeah. What, 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 how, how do you do that kind of on a game like this? That's so challenging. You're better, you need to get on track. Right, right, you have to. So it's just a conversation that you had throughout the you know, your career playing basketball, again, your mindset, your approach and everything, and just your professionalism, right? And so when you are in the game, you're locked in. When you're on the, the sidelines, you're locked in and in tune to what's going on. So when you get on the floor, you're in tune and in the rhythm of, you know, what's already going on out there. Landry said you guys had to kind of keep it real with each other. Yeah. How, how did you guys do that? Just being honest. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's locker room talk, the things that we specifically said, but, you know, just being honest with one another, I would say. There's, like, the idea that you're looking for the underdog mentality. Yeah. Is there ever time to adopt the mentality of the favorite and say, you know, we have the best right, right. And I feel like I feel like we don't have the underdog uh, mentality. Like we know that we're going to get the team's best every night. So you know, we know we have to bring it in, and we know that we're going to get their best shot. And about Markel, you guarded him a fair amount in the Eastern Conference, and you were playing there. That's right. not a good ride. Right. Right. What's new in his game this year that you were watching him last night you didn't see before in this series? Just his confidence. Like, like, we saw what he was able to do. He was the number one pick in the, in the draft for a reason. You know, so just his confidence, I would say, that's the that's the thing that's improved a lot for him. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.